The vote on Donald Trump's controversial pick for the Supreme Court has been postponed once again. That's after the Senate committee decided to give the FBI one week to investigate the accusations of sexual assault leveled against Brett Kavanaugh, a charge he strongly denies. The president himself has ordered an investigation into the claims. Well, it is yet another delay in one of the most divisive confirmation hearings in American political history. Feels like Alice in Wonderland around here. Rather than working with us, my Democratic colleagues chose not to participate in this process. And yet again and again, their refrain has been the same. Delay, delay, delay. I'm very disappointed that we're here today voting on this nomination. The Senate's supposed to be an independent, equal branch of government. We're no longer that. But we are an arm and a very weak arm of the Trump White House. It's the beginning of a process that will tear this country apart. The U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee has been conducting confirmation hearings for Brett Kavanaugh, nominated to be a Supreme Court justice by Donald Trump. They took a vote to take the nomination of Brett Kavanaugh to the floor of the U.S. Senate. Now, as the vote was preparing, we saw kind of a last-minute proposal from Republican Senator Jeff Flake. Uh, he proposed, essentially, that a final vote on the floor of the Senate wouldn't take place until the FBI had been able to do an investigation. I do think that we can uh, have a short pause and, and make sure that the FBI can investigate. Thanks. My understanding is that uh, some of us would have to, and I'm prepared to do it, uh, make a request to the White House to ask the FBI to do that investigation. It would be short and limited in scope to the current allegations that have been made. I would like to support the motion for that investigation. I've explained uh, many times another FBI investigation is not necessary. The nomination of Brett Kavanaugh has certainly divided the United States of America, both sides very fired up about it. Um, and it appears that next week we will have a final vote in the U.S. Senate regarding his confirmation as a uh, Supreme Court justice in the United States, the highest court in the land. Uh, but it has been quite contentious, protests all around Capitol Hill, lots of accusations on both sides, lots of anger. Well, the scandal surrounding Judge Kavanaugh has triggered a severe partisan feud in the U.S. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham's comments in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee hearing on Thursday, well, it essentially captured the current level of animosity in Washington. In a bitter tirade, he accused the Democrats of a cynical attempt to derail Kavanaugh's nomination. What you want to do is destroy this guy's life, hold this seat open. This is the most unethical sham since I've been in politics. And if you really wanted to know the truth, you sure as hell wouldn't have done what you've done to this guy. However, Senator Graham's staunch defense of Brett Kavanaugh has drawn criticism too. American comedian Chelsea Handler even claimed that Graham is being blackmailed by Moscow. That's despite the fact Graham is renowned for his anti-Russian stance in the Senate. They're trying to break the backs of democracies. They're doing worse things in other countries. And they're trying to get us to fight among ourselves. And here's what we should do. We should tell the Russians in no uncertain terms, you interfered in our elections. We don't care why. We're going to hit you and hit you hard. In Russia, it's not a normal country. Well, media and legal analyst Lionel told us the Russia blackmail claim against Senator Graham is nothing but absurd. The idea is so specious. They're suggesting that, that the Russians had this man through blackmail. They blackmailed Senator Graham, one of the most staunch heretofore, in some cases, anti-Russian senator, to speak on behalf of and President really Trump's nominee, truth, who is sure a Republican, as he said. is. This, this is not the way blackmail works. It's the easiest blackmail. Imagine me blackmailing you to say something or do something that you're going to do anyway. It doesn't make any sense. This is an example of how people in our country here, the so-called elite 
the intelligentsia the the conoscenti holly weird the the uh, I guess the liberal if you will um, entertainment um, arm of American entertainment uh, factions all of a sudden they feel impelled and compelled and and able to comment on issues they know nothing about 